Hello learners, I'm Miss Kathy. Come and join me to another fun and exciting topic here on English Talk. But before we start, let us first identify our learning objectives. First, judge the relevance and worth of ideas, soundness of author's reasoning, and the effectiveness of the presentation. Second, make a connection with given insights to particular social issues, concerns, or dispositions in real-life situations. COVID-19 pandemic has created a lot of creative opportunities among locals and Filipinos alike. As we all know, a lot of people lost their jobs because of this pandemic. So, some of us find ways to help those who are in need. Let's have this picture for example. What does the picture show? The picture is about community pantry. What is the idea behind this community pantry? The idea behind the community pantry was that people could take as much as they need and donate whatever they can. What could be the reason for organizing a community pantry? The reason or purpose of this community pantry is to share the goods to those who are in need. The image shows information to the readers that made us understand the message of the author. Like reading a text, we were able to associate the images and understand its idea. But what makes a good reader? Good readers are fluent and can interact with the text and understand what the author wants to communicate. And in order for us to recognize the author's opinion in the text, we must be able to investigate the information presented to us. This time around, we will be reading a text that is connected to the picture we saw a while ago. Let us look for areas of viewpoints from the author which is exemplified in the text. Food pantries spread in Philippines as COVID-19 restriction bite. Manila, community-run stalls offering free food to the needy have multiplied across the Philippines. With many struggling to feed their families as COVID-19 restrictions bite and government help falls short. Street sweeper Juliet Reyes regularly picks up fruits and vegetables from a curbside food pantry in the capital, Manila, where a recent lockdown to contain a surge in infections threw hundreds of thousands out of work. I'm very thankful. It's a big help for us who are most in need, said Reyes, 41, who supports a family of eight on her meager daily wage of 200 pesos. When I go home, I will cook what I've got today. Patricia Non ignited the nationwide movement this month after parking a bamboo cart stocked with rice, pasta, canned food, and vegetables raided from her kitchen beside a busy street. A handwritten cardboard sign urged passers-by to give what you can and take what you need. Within hours, the cart was empty and none issued a plea on Facebook for donations, which went viral. Many are in need and I have more than enough for myself at home, none 26 told AFP. It's not a solution to hunger and poverty, but it's a stopgap measure. What is the aim of food pantries that are now spreading in the Philippines? That is right. Food pantries, or sometimes called community pantries, are offering free food to the needy. Who started the community pantry? That is true. Patricia Non ignited the nationwide movement after parking a bamboo cart stocked with rice, pasta, canned food, and vegetables raided from her kitchen beside a busy street. This sparked the chain of kindness that led many people to do the same. What do you think is the purpose of the text that you have read? That is right. The author of the article wants the reader to be informed about how the community pantry started and helped a lot of people in the community. 
the characters in the article, Patricia Non, who started the community pantry in her barangay, which became viral in the social media Facebook, inspired other people to extend their help to others. Also, Juliet Reyes, a street sweeper who is one of the many people that benefited the food pantries. It also persuades the readers to extend their help to others and do the same. We can simply identify the author's purpose by asking ourselves what is the reason or the intent of the author in writing. An author's purpose may be to persuade, inform, or entertain. It is also possible to have two author's purposes in a text. A writer may inform and persuade the readers at the same time. Remember the PI acronym in identifying the author's purpose. From what point of view does the article was written? Correct! The article was written in the third-person point of view. The author narrated the story and described the feelings and thoughts of the characters. Author's point of view, or sometimes we call the author's perspective, answers the question, who is telling the story? This may be, in the first person, if the author retells or recounts his or her experience. The pronoun I is used to tell the story. Second person, if the author is telling the story to you, the readers. Pronoun you is used in the text. Third person, if the author narrates the story but is not part of it. Under third person, we have limited and omniscient. Limited if the narrator shows an insight from one character in the story. Omniscient if the narrator was able to describe the feelings and thoughts of all the characters in the story. What type of paragraph was used in the article above? Correct. It is an expository. The paragraph explains how the community pantry spreads in the Philippines by providing examples and instances. Paragraph development begins with the formulation of ideas. Topic sentences often show the main idea of the author. Narration, exposition, definition, classification, description, process analysis, and persuasion are the seven types of paragraph development that an author may use in building his argument or ideas. What feeling does the author cause you after reading the article? That's great! After reading the article, we both feel sympathy and happiness. Sympathy for those people who struggle to feed their families during this time and happy since there are people like Patricia Non who are willing to extend their hands to the needy. The author of the article was able to set the atmosphere of the story, and through the words of the characters, we were able to identify the attitude of the author towards his topic, and this shows the tone, while the feelings that we get after reading are the mood of the text. What claim, reason, and evidence did the author use to make his statement believable? You are correct. The author claims that the community pantries offering free food to the needy have multiplied across the Philippines. This statement was supported by the evidence which can be found in the text. What is the relevance of the article in your life? That is correct. The article shows cultural traits and values of Filipino people. By any hand, resilience, and resourcefulness. Let us practice what you have learned today. Complete the table as we read the text. To help you answer the table, ask yourselves the following. What is the author's purpose or intent in writing the text? What is the author's point of view? What is the topic sentence? What details support the claim of the author? What is the tone and mood of the text? Sleep. Experts say that people need at least six hours of sleep every night. 
If they do not get enough sleep, they will feel sleepy the whole day. Younger kids need at least 9 hours of sleep every night. After school, activities can take away from sleep time for kids. Also, parents with busy lifestyles stay up late and their kids do the same. Kids with little sleep have a hard time sleeping at night, and this will affect their daily routine and make them less active and productive throughout the day in school. Most parents are not aware of what goes on when their kids go to sleep and how the brain works when we are asleep. Many people think that the brain shuts down when we go to sleep, but it is the opposite. Experts say that the brain is very active when we are asleep and could be even more active than when we are awake. Experts recommended at least 6 hours of sleep for adults and 9 hours of sleep for children. They say that sleep is an essential, not a comfort, and it can increase your life expectancy. Let us now check your answer. What is the author's purpose in writing the text? You are correct. It is to give information to the readers as well as convince the readers to believe the author. What is the author's point of view? That is right. The passage was written from a third-person point of view. What is the topic sentence? Great! Experts say that people need at least 6 hours of sleep every night. What details would support your claim? Correct! The following sentences support the claim of the author. The author uses both objective and subjective statements. What is the tone and mood? That is right! The text is formal and serious. The author sets the mood of the readers through the words he uses in the text. Congratulations, learners! It is great that you were able to judge the relevance and the worth of ideas read based on the soundness of the author's reasoning and the effectiveness of the presentation. To know if you really understood a reading text, use this checklist and tick the item that applies to you. How am I doing? I can process information mentioned in the text. I can summarize the contents of the text read. I can identify the purpose of the author in writing the text. I can infer thoughts, feelings, and intentions of the speaker. I can draw generalization and conclusions from the material read. I can judge the relevance and worth of ideas presented in the text. I can make decisions based on the text read. If you can do all this, then you are a good reader. Take note that reading does not end in reading itself. You should be able to apply the relevant and worthy ideas that you have learned from the text in real life. I think you are ready to answer this activity. Have your pen and paper ready. Read the passages and answer the questions that follow. Write the letter of your choice. Let's start! Travel is a part of our way of life. People commute to jobs that are considerable distance from their homes. Some students even travel from miles from home to school. Stores and businesses are clustered in central locations. Which sentence from the paragraph expresses the author's claim? A. Travel is a part of our way of life. B. People commute to jobs that are of a considerable distance from their home. C. Some students even travel many miles from home to school. D. Stores and businesses are clustered in central locations. Time's up! What's your answer for number one? Correct! The answer is letter A. Blue skies and beautiful sunsets are effects of the atmosphere. White light, 
contains all the colors of the rainbow. As the white rays of the sun pass through the gases and dust in the atmosphere, they are broken up into different colors. Number two, what is the author's purpose in writing the text? A. To inform. B. To entertain. C. To persuade. Or letter D. To explain. Time's up. What's your answer for number two? That is correct. The answer is letter D. He approached the task with sheer determination. He studied his plans carefully, spent hours preparing, and was sure of his approach. The hours he spent practicing were grueling and exhausting, but he was ready. This was the year he would win the pie-eating contest. Number 3. What is the tone of the text? A. Forceful B. Doubtful C. Sympathetic or letter D. Persevere Time's up! You are correct! The answer is letter D. Now let us move on to the fourth passage. When Karima visited her friend Sonia in her apartment in New York at 3 in the afternoon, she saw the sagging furniture, the broken window panes, the old stove, the empty refrigerator, and the unwashed new baby in the bedroom. She also noticed the forced gladness of her friend and the half-filled glass of whiskey on her table. What point of view is used by the author in the passage? A. First person, B. Second person, C. Third person, or letter D. Omniscient. Time's up. What's your answer for number four? That's correct. The answer is letter C. It was very late, and everyone had left the cafe except an old man who sat in the shadow of the leaves of the tree made against the electric light. In the daytime, the street was dusty, but at night, the dew settled the dust and the old man liked to sit late because he was deaf and now, at night, it was quiet and he felt the difference. What type of paragraph is used in the passage? A. Narration B. Exposition, C. Persuasion, or letter D. Definition. Time's up. What's your answer for the last passage? Correct. The answer for the last passage is letter A. You did great in answering those questions. Good job! It is important to have a good reading comprehension abilities. It enhances the fun and efficacy of reading, not just in the classroom, but also in the workplace and in one's personal life. According to Katherine Patterson, It is not enough to simply teach children to read. We have to give them something worth reading. Something that will stretch their imaginations. Something that will help them make sense of their own lives and encourage them to reach out toward people whose lives are quite different from their own. Learning is fun when you're motivated to learn. Don't forget to share what you have learned today with your family and friends. See you next time on another fun and exciting topic here on English Talk.